back to Albany County Fasteners, Fasteners 101. So today I'm going to show you how to paint these stairs. I have my paint here, which is porch and floor enamel paint. This is latex, water-based paint. Uh, this is, uh, you don't need to prime this wood. You can just buy the paint and put it on top. Obviously, you just want to make sure it's clean the surface. I did clean everything down. Um, and as long as the surface is clean, you can apply the paint. I have a two and a half inch brush here uh, that I'm using. And uh, let's get rolling. Starting from the top, working my way down. Thank you. And a cup of coffee, of course. It makes the job go a little easier. Stairs can take time. So you can do stairs in between the other projects. Walls, like I'm doing here, I'm priming. Another thing you want to do, which I didn't do yet, is mask the wall so you don't get any paint on it. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to put masking tape on the wall so it's easier for me to paint. And I have to do enough afterwards. So I'll just do this here. Get my starter. I just want to bring that right to the edge. And then you can finesse your way down. This is pretty no bringing our tight. Masking. And that's just basically even whatever's gonna stay white. Of course, I just put my almond paint. Painting is always so much fun. It's good to have a rag around in case you need it. I wipe these things up. Okay. Continue on. Now that I have tape there, this will make the job go a lot faster and easier. And I'm going to go down the stringers first. These are called stringers, treads, risers. So I'm going to do the stringers first and work my way from there. So like I said, stringers, which are the sides, treads, with the step on, risers. We'll give this a couple of coats and down the other side too. The paint I selected for the stairs is the same gray that's on the walls. So anywhere it comes in contact with the walls, it's basically going to look the same. And this is an eggshell finish, so it's not has a low sheen to it, not a high sheen. I didn't want a high sheen on the stairs. When you're working with paint, after you dip the paint, it's always good to start at the high point and work your way down to the low point. So you see I didn't take this out here because this part of the wall is painted gray. Not white. So I'm not worried about gray paint getting on there. Okay, at this point my stringers are done. And I'm going to go back to the top and I'm going to work my way down. Starting with the top part of the nosing tread and then down to the risers and treads, risers, treads, risers. And then first coat will be done and then we'll let it dry. Oh. 
always want to make sure you get underneath the tread. Put a nice glob of paint on there. Makes it easier. Even though there's a lot of corners with stairs, they go pretty quick. You don't have to really, you know, these are garage stairs, so you don't have to sand it, make them look so beautiful. Ultimately, I may cover the carpet, but this will seal them up from a good sealer, so they're not exposed. You see, I'm always cleaning the edge of the can, because otherwise the paint builds up on there. So you always want to be cleaning that edge. This is going to dry really fast uh, because the wood is just going to absorb the paint. First coat, wood absorbs very quickly. And this is uh, an old pine stair. Yellow pine is what she used on here. Sometimes I use Ponderosa. You know that species of pine. And you use a lot more paint in your first coat. And you'll see each coat after that, you use a lot less paint. Basically starts to seal up all the pores. And it gets faster in applying the paint. If you're not sure what kind of paint to use on your application, go to your paint store. Tell them what you're working on. They'll give you exactly what you need. Figure out the square footage of area and give them that information. Whatever the can says on coverage, it's usually never enough. For whatever reason, when they tell you it's 500 square feet in the can, I don't know how they ever figure out those numbers because it never works out for me. And if you guys know, leave me a comment. Tell me how to get that square footage. Most likely you're going to tell me to water it down. And when you water it down too much, then you put more coats on. That's the only way to stretch it. Then you don't get good coverage. And you've got to give another coat because you just don't have enough on there. It doesn't cover and you can see through. It doesn't even look uniform. All right, we're down to the end here. Looking good. I just have the side to hit. It's always good to have a, um, a process down when you're doing it. Always start the same way when you're doing, as you're working your way down. If you do that, you won't miss anything. I try to do that. Sometimes I get off course. All right. So that's our stair. That's first coat to let it dry. I can see from here there's a couple of spots I missed under there. We'll get that on the second round. And hopefully the second round will finish this. May have to go a third round. We'll see how the stair absorbs the paint.